Hello there. Plenty to talk about in Europe at the moment. Widespread cold expected across northern Europe over the next few days and pretty unsettled through the Mediterranean with areas of low pressure moving their way from west to east. You can see a more of a significant one during Saturday moving its way across Iberia. It will take some rain, some snow across the Pyrenees and move its way east through the Mediterranean. Cold northerly winds starting to kick in and feed this bitterly cold air across northern Europe. As for the east, well, we've got a few scattered showers into Turkey and mainland Greece, a few showers into Italy as well. Quieter across the Alps, welcome news here for some of those resorts. There's that weather front on Sunday moving its way out of Spain towards the French Riviera. But cold further north of that, only two degrees in Frankfurt and Berlin and temperatures way below freezing across Scandinavia. Now, by the time we get into Monday, that cold air really will be digging through. We've got some stormy weather moving its way across Italy, over into the Balkans where we could see some snow and temperatures really struggling across uh, the Alps, over into Germany and France as well. This cold weather is set to stay with us right throughout the week, but largely fine and quiet. Mostly unsettled activity uh, continues across much of the Mediterranean. Into Eastern Europe, again still bitterly cold, particularly in Moscow with temperatures way below freezing. Hello then. Severe winter weather across parts of North America at the moment. Let's take a look at the worst affected areas. If we start off with a satellite picture, it looks pretty inoffensive, but it's this massive cloud here. It's brought some heavy rain out of Texas, and as it continues to track its way north and east, it's bumping into bitterly cold air across Canada. So on the leading edge, we're going to see snow really across parts of Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Ohio. Freezing rain could be an issue. Heavy rain as well down through Atlanta, Georgia too. That will continue to clear east and then behind cold air kicks in, bitterly cold behind it. Up into the far northwest here, we've got some wintry weather conditions too. Some snowfall, not too extensive. The blue tones behind it denoting temperatures below freezing. So just a little bit warmer into Oregon and parts of California. Here it's dry and settled, but we're still seeing the potential for some snow across the northern half of the Rockies. But temperatures across Winnipeg will improve over the next few days. It's been bitterly cold, a blanket of cloud and slightly less cold air is expected. But it will stay bitterly cold with significant snow really across the east to the east of the Great Lakes with the heaviest of the rain down into Nashville, Tennessee, into the Carolinas. You can see the warm russet tones where it's dry and settled across parts of Florida. But it's certainly worth bearing in mind that once that front clears through, it really is going to introduce quite a significant drop in the temperatures. Look at uh, New York, 11 Celsius down to minus 10. Hello there. We've seen some localised flooding across southern Brazil, Uruguay and northern Argentina in recent days. Welcome news. The satellite picture shows the extensive rain clouds starting to break up and ease away. And it's going to be a drier picture as we move through the weekend. Some of the showers will still sit across southern Brazil, but not as extensive as they have been. We've also got some rain pushing into the southern tip of Chile as well, which will be a feature over the weekend to come. Now, across uh, the north, we've got some showers across Colombia, Venezuela in particular, and to parts of Ecuador, also extending across northern and eastern areas of Brazil. A few scattered showers down to the south, a bit of fair weather cloud through Uruguay, Paraguay, northern Argentina, but dry, that's the important factor. Sunshine further south, there's that rain into the southern tip of Chile. So the city forecast for the next five days look pretty promising. Good deal of dry weather showers should remain fairly isolated. Let's take a look at Mexico and Central America now. Fine and settled for most part, a few scattered showers into Mexico, but generally speaking, it's a uh, fine, quiet story. We will see a similar picture as well across the Caribbean, as you'd expect really at this time of year. So the best time to go in terms of dry, settled weather and temperatures are likely to peak into the high 20s, low 30s. So little in the way of rain to come over the next few days. Enjoy. Hello there. We've seen some heavy rain which has brought localised flooding to parts of Zimbabwe, into Madagascar and also Mozambique just recently. And you can see on the satellite picture some pretty lumpy looking cloud. Intense rainfall still expected here. We'll need to keep an eye on that. So same areas really, the island of Madagascar into Mozambique and into Zimbabwe, just that little bit further north as well. Now we're also picking up some rain across the far north. It's tied into some stormy weather that's moving through the eastern Mediterranean at the moment, and that's likely to fringe with the west of Egypt. But 
The city forecast for the next few days shows a good deal of dry weather across many of the major cities and those temperatures peaking into the mid-20s, low 30s in places. No, the um, rain not affecting Khartoum, hot and sunny, a few scattered showers into Casablanca, all tied in to some stormy weather that we've got moving through the Met. So there's that uh, cloud and rain into the western half of Egypt. We have seen some dust storms earlier on this week across parts of the Middle East and there is a potential for a localised shamal to uh, develop as we go into the weekend, but we're not too concerned about it. That has the potential, particularly close to Gulf uh, states, to see a little bit of lifted dust and some poor visibility there. But the city forecast looks fine, settled and sunny for many with temperatures into the low 20s. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather forecast then for South Asia. It's a fairly stagnant weather picture at the moment. As you can see from the satellite picture, that's producing some poor air quality across parts of New Delhi. But most of the activity is both to the north and the south with significant snow expected into the far northwest. I'll come back to that in just a moment. But you can see that there's the potential for some rain just starting to brush with the eastern half of Sri Lanka. Elsewhere, it's largely fine and quiet with light winds. But further north and West snow will be more of an issue. So if we take a look into Central Asia, it's cold air sitting across Kazakhstan at the moment. We've got some snow across the eastern half of Uzbekistan, down into Afghanistan, Pakistan, and then across the um, mountainous regions into northern India and through the Himalayas. We could see a metre, metre and a half of snow over the next few days. A few showers into Karachi. Elsewhere, it's fine. It's settled. A little bit of fair weather cloud down through the Maldives. A little bit of fair weather cloud with just an outside chance of the potential for some rain across the southeast of Sri Lanka. Heading up into uh, the northeast, it's fine and quiet as well. So we keep a good deal of dry, settled, sunny weather. The showers ease in Islamabad, but there's potential for more showers into Colombo as we go into the end of the week. Tashkent warms up just a little, but Ashtana stays bitterly cold right throughout the week. Hello there. Latest update with Australia and the heatwave conditions coming up shortly. But first of all, let's take a look at what's happening in Asia. And you can see there is a large area of high pressure dominating at the moment with the stormy weather uh, up across northern Japan. Here it's quite windy and we will see some snow showers as well. At the same time, we've got some heavy rain across the Philippines and I'll come back to that in just a moment. But let's move further north. You can see the snow showers that are affecting parts of Japan. Strong winds to go with it as well. Korean Peninsula across the northern China, fine, settled and relatively sunny. Uh, a slice of cloud and showery outbreaks of rain from Shanghai through central China. Further south of that, it's quiet. Heavy rain, though, expected into the Philippines. That could bring some localised flooding, may well develop into a storm system over the next few days. City forecasts show a good deal of dry weather to be found as well. Now, as for Australia, all the heat has been across the east and the south in recent days, but it looks over the weekend as though the hottest of the weather will always be a little bit further west, giving a brief respite across the south in comparison to of late. But the heat is set to return into next week, unfortunately. Now, down into New Zealand, we've got some showers down to the south. It's drier and sunnier up into the North Island of New Zealand. Our city forecasts again show those temperatures up into Adelaide at around 42 degrees as we go through the week.